Thank you for buying this video. Not only is it packed with more tips than a brightly coloured selection of children's felt tip pens, but it's reasonably priced too, assuming you've paid for it and not nicked it. If you have nicked it, give yourself up, son. Yeah, give yourself up, son. Give yourself up is not worth risking a fine or a possible custodial sentence. Or if you're below the edge of criminal responsibility and all expenses paid holiday in the Masai Mara Game Reserve with other offenders of similar ilk. Mmm, very nice. Actually, that's not bad for the price of a video. It's not, Vic, and it's a very good tip to start with. Now, how to get the best out of this tape? On no account try shoving it in the toaster. Or in a toasted sandwich maker or pie maker, as this may distort the picture beyond recognition. Also, under no circumstances, attempt to insert into a Labrador, as the chance of retrieving the tape are bordering on the impossible. They're terribly unreliable, are Labradors. They never return tapes on time. What you should do is to put the tape in one of these. <laughs> Thank you for buying this video. Not only is it packed with more tips than a brightly coloured selection. Hello. Hello. Here we are in our shed, ready to offer you more advice than you've ever been advised to offer yourself in the past or indeed the future. That's right, Vic. Nice punchy start. I liked it. Thank now, you. Now, there's probably been many occasions when you've been sitting down trying to do a particularly big job, thinking there must be an easier way of doing this. Well, there is, and that's why we're here. That's right. If you've got problems in your life, we're here to tell you exactly what to do and where to go. But first, an important safety note. I've read it, and do you know what it says? I've no idea, Vic. It says that there's a 1 in 15 chance that in the first 10 minutes of using a hammer like this... That's a hammer? That's a hammer. Oh, my God. There's a 1 in 15 chance that you could destroy your thumb. So, my tip is this. <laughs> ah! Get it out of the way before you start hammering. What a good idea. Therefore, you avoid all the unpleasantness that is associated with destruction of thumb. Do you know what question I'm asked most often, Vic? Yeah, you're not going to mention that, are you? No. What question I'm asked most? What? How are you, Bob? Oh. But the question I'm invariably asked second is how can I save money during my day-to-day -day existence? Good question. It and, is. And who better to answer it than the faithful companion of the Lone Ranger, Tonto. Thank you, Tonto. I think there's a message there for all of us. But, Bob, do you know how I save money? Tell me, Vic. Every day I jog to work behind the bus, saving me a whopping 96 pence per day. Wow. What you should do, Vic, is jog behind a taxi. That way you'll save £5.60 a day, excluding tip. You know, I never thought about that. Yes. Now, Vic, what more tips have you got for people who've probably paid the full price for this video and are probably a bit short they've spent the family allowance housing benefit? There's no money to bathe and feed the kids and loved ones. Mm. Well, here's a tip. To save money on first-class stamps, what I do is send my letters a few days earlier and send them second-class. Now, any stamps that you don't use you can use as a kind of temporary repair system for inner tubes or tyres. Any inflatable item, really. You might even be able to go as far as using the little frilly edges. Little let. What are you doing there, Vic? I've uh, just got a collection of my old knackered light bulbs. What I do is, when my neighbour goes on holiday... Your neighbour, I... neighbour, Vic. Now, that's the person who lives next door to you. That's right, well done. The person who lives at 667. Mm. The neighbour of the beast. Oh, right. What I do is, when he goes on holiday and asks me to look after the house, I simply take my old knackered light bulbs and replace them with his new, fresh and exciting bulbs. That is brilliant. Thank you. But on a more serious note, it is very important with all electrical fittings, not just bulbs, that you dispose of them thoughtfully. Yeah. And what do we do with those old neon lighting tubes? As one-time curator of the Peking Zoo, I always found that the best way to dispose of old neon lighting tubes was to carefully insert them into dead snakes. See here, here's one now. Done. That's what you should do. What a sensible and attractive man, and what a top tip. Now, if you can't get a dead snake, a live one will do, because the insertion of said tube deep into the guts of the snake via the throat will soon kill it. 
Now, Vic, I've lost count of the number of times people have asked me for guidance and advice on the subject of antique furniture and the Five. rest... Five. It's how many? Five people. Five people? Yes, I've lost count... Hot chocolate. It was hot chocolate who asked me. Hot chocolate, the band, are always asking me for advice on antique furniture and restoration. And who better to offer me, you and them advice on this subject than former Olympic gymnast who wrongfully believes herself to be the creator of the sooty show, Olga Corbett. How can you prevent your 18th century Chippendale chaise long from becoming damaged by woodworm? Easy. Rub a drop of whiskey into the affected area and it'll make them too drunk to have sex and therefore unable to reproduce. And I'll tell you something else you can do with wood-boring insects. Take a handful of dead wood lice, pop them into a little matchbox and tape on a lolly stick. Hey presto, a cheap but entertaining rattle for a baby or a geriatric elder relative. <laughs>